Hi guys, so it's October 3rd and I'm just doing a quick little tour around the high tunnel. It's pretty much finished up for the year. We still have a couple things that are going here and there, but we're just going to go through it real quick. Um, so right here is our wood. We're starting to bring wood in um, for the year. Right here I have a big batch of um, turnips in here and we're going to start eating on those. Some of the greens, the pigs got in here the other day, as you can see they rooted like all up and around all the piglets got out and then came in here and it looked like a fun place to dig so we still have we've actually had um, freezing weather already but we still have some peppers that are doing okay on here those are hot peppers I'm surprised being October we've had a couple frosts already um, a really hard frost this morning where all the sheep had like frost on their back um, and then we have cucumbers here, and I am really shocked at this. I planted these later in the season, and I went to just peek in here to see if there was anything. And my oh my, there are cucumbers in here. October 3rd, I'm really pleased with this. I have cucumbers October 3rd after a frost. And this is actually a massive one down there. I gotta really pick those. Um, I'm really surprised by this because of what the weather is that I still have even any green plants, let alone have some um, cucumbers. There's another one there. I'm going to come back and pick all those off of there. I have a random potato plant that didn't get any um, bug damage. And I have some beets and carrots in here. These, you can see, these. this is how it gets frost damage. Um, so those are starting to get some frost damage, but it won't affect their roots. So it's weird to have the cucumbers be okay and not this. And these are broccoli. Oh, we got a little broccoli growing. Awesome. And another one right there. We might actually get broccoli. I had huge amounts of broccoli and stuff. You can see where the pigs got out there. Came in there. They also came in the back door. We've had massive pig issues this year. I'm just kind of doing a once over to see what I'm going to be needing to focus on over the next couple days. I want to get these nasturtiums, get the um, some seeds off of those. I don't know. Let me see if you can see in here maybe not yet maybe not yet um and then i need to do something with that right there i'm thinking i've never made kimchi before but i'm thinking i'm gonna give it a try the beans did not produce anything as of yet i'm just leaving them to see if they will had to pull these beds I have that was a little okra but I didn't know what the heck I was doing so it's not anymore so I transplanted these the other day I'm hoping some of these will come back some of the kales and there's a couple cabbage the peas we have to actually pick some peas there is peas coming this is our second set of peas for the year I need to water these um, they got transplanted two days ago, so I'm hoping that some of it will come back. So we'll just water them, continue watering it, and see how those come. We also transplanted this. So our wood is here, and we had um, stuff growing here. And I want our wood to be able to go that wide, so it will come like the width almost, leaving the side over, let's see, it's hard to point on here over there where we just were with the cucumbers um there'll be a pathway there and then a pathway where i'm standing and then the width to be um wood and then this is our kale this is the kale that i planted in the beginning of april i believe it was and it is still producing i am so so pleased with that and we do have more peas so we can actually grow two harvests of peas here and these plants look horrible <laughs> they look absolutely horrible but there was a couple of zucchinis on here 
and I was like, I'm just going to wait until these zucchinis are big enough to be able to eat. So we're going to actually pull those off and eat them tonight. <clears throat> so I still have a bit of kale. There's the turnips here. Um, I still have some peppers that we're working on and a couple of cabbage up there. So let's see. We'll pull those zucchinis, the cucumbers. See, this is, I mean, for us, October, this is absolutely awesome. It's nice because I'm experimenting and it's like, I know what is working and what's not working. And then the Swiss chard worked as well. So I'm documenting this. Oops. I'm documenting this in order to like help myself. So next year I'll know like when I can plant things and when I can't plant. So we have this area that was full of nasty weeds right here. And I had it tarped. This is an experiment. I had it tarped for a couple weeks. And now we have um, dirt that we're putting on top of it. It's all died. I'm going around that way. So they're coming now. We have Miss Baby Cakes. And my daughter is bringing in some more dirt. We just got that from um, up the road. We ordered it. Had somebody bring it in. So we're going to be trying to fill this area here. This is on the other part of the blueberry garden. We're trying to fill this area here so it'll be ready to plant next year. But it was like all these tall weed things. It was like this, so I don't really know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna video it. So next season, y'all will be able to see if we plant in it and what it comes out as is, hi beautiful, Nevea. She's a big helper. It's not easy to drive a tractor with a baby on your lap. She's doing a good job. I think she should get her license. We're waiting for the state to finally give her a date for her license. I think every child should have to drive a tractor before they get their license. Not really, I didn't, but I think it has good skills. There you go, Eden. So that's it on this area. 